Hey, John Cristana here. I'm going to be going over the fastest way to make $5,000 as a beginner. Now, I've started a lot of different businesses, and that first couple thousand dollars is definitely always the hardest money to get, but hopefully some of these simple tricks will help you start your own business and start earning money. Now, right off the bat, the first thing is that selling services where you're trading your time for money is the easiest way to make money. And I'm not talking about trading your time for like, you know, $7 an hour or $10 an hour. I'm talking about providing a service for business owners that is in demand. Now, an example of a service that you can offer business owners or just really anybody is you can do stuff such as accounting or marketing or advertising or billing, fulfillment, networking, whatever. There's a whole plethora of uh, types of services you can offer, legal, etc. And instead of trading your time for money where you have an employer pay you a couple dollars an hour, is you can actually offer them the service such as saying, okay, you will do video editing for, you know, you'll edit 20 videos every single month for $500. In my case, what I did was I provided pay-per-click marketing services for companies and I did it on a monthly basis. So I said, I will manage your Google ads for $1,000 a month, retainer fee. All I needed was five clients at that level in order to make me $5,000 a month. Now you can charge people $500 a month and get 10 clients. You can charge people $2,500 a month and get two clients or $5,000 a month and have one client to get you to that magical $5,000 a month. But think of a service you can offer rather than thinking of who can hire me. Because when you provide a service that solves a business's pain points, you can help them out a lot and you can make a lot of money in return. Now, kind of playing off of this concept of creating a service that you are offering to companies is go out there and learn a skill that is highly in demand by business owners. Now, a way you could find what skills are in demand by companies is go on glassdoor.com and just search what job positions that lots of big companies are hiring for. And you'll get kind of a sense of what companies need help with in today's environment. You'll find a lot of interesting things. For instance, in the programming world, maybe it's, you know, you know, JavaScript, or maybe it's understanding how to data escrow, setting up data escrow services like cross beam or maybe folks are looking for somebody to help their you know YouTube ads or maybe somebody is looking for a photography studio setup whatever it is you'll see it on Glassdoor people are hiring for roles but instead of trying to get hired to work as an employee at a company what you want to do is you want to find those skills that can make you lots of money that are highly in demand and learn those skills yourself for free on the internet and then go to those companies or other companies and offer that as a service to them. Now, don't be afraid to go online and buy courses or whatever to help you get proficient in a skill because, again, you can take the knowledge that you learn from these courses and just go straight to businesses and offer them to them, you know, for $1,000 a month or whatever. Now, I've been naming a lot of services in the marketing world, but there's tons of different niche sorts of services that you can offer folks that run businesses that deal with legal stuff, that deal with maybe it's music stuff, music editing, beats production, whatever. You can find stuff in the, you know, accounting world, the finance world. You know, I've hired people to help me create P&Ls, right? Very niche, but a lot of companies outsource the production of balance sheets, cash flow sheets, profit and loss sheets to other firms. For instance, I'm working with an accounting firm. I pay them $5,000 a month. Right there is an easy service that you can offer to business owners. There aren't a lot of accounting firms that specialize in internet businesses. You know, when a firm approached me and said, hey, we are an accounting firm that specializes in internet businesses, 
I said, wow, I've never heard a company that specialized before. And I immediately just started paying them $5,000 a month. So there's so many little areas like that. You could do accounting for musicians. You can do accounting for storage companies. You can do accounting for, you know, RV companies. You can do accounting for truckers. There's so many different niches you can find in every service category that it's absolutely unbelievable. And if you can't get ideas from what I'm saying, then really you probably shouldn't be an entrepreneur. If you need more handholding than what I'm giving you right now, you should probably work a job. And that's not a bad thing. There are plenty of jobs that pay lots of money. Now, one of the best ways to find people that would be interested in buying the various services that you might offer is simply just adding people on Facebook. One of the ways to do this is to join groups where these high value people congregate. And you want to focus on two categories. You wanna focus on business owners, and also you could focus on people who work for a commission, such as salespeople, business development folks, marketers, and just other sorts of jobs descriptions where you're working on a commission-based or a performance basis, because these are folks that will invest in themselves to actually increase whatever their commissions are. Now, if you're targeting salespeople, and let's say for salespeople you're offering, maybe you're offering a data appending or a research service, and you say, okay, I will, you know, maybe your service is for $1,000 a month, you will find 100 people for them to contact. Or maybe you will append data, you'll take inbound leads or leads that these salespeople are getting and just put a lot of data behind it, right? That could be a very easy, a 100x margin of a service that you offer for salespeople or business development professionals that don't know how to work with big data. You probably don't know how to work with big data yet, but it's not hard to learn. You can just Google search it. Now, there are Facebook groups where business development professionals congregate or salespeople congregate. And the best groups are gonna be ones where these folks have already invested in something which are called buyers groups. I call them buyers groups, but they're just Facebook groups that consist of buyers of a particular program. Let's take Grant Cardone, for instance. Grant Cardone trains hundreds of thousands of sales professionals around the world. Hundreds of thousands of sales professionals and business owners have paid money to Grant Cardone to, you know, to learn more sales. So we already know a few things about these folks. One is that they invest in themselves. They spend money to make more money. That's very good because it means that if you create a service that can help them make more money, let's say you're editing video ads for them or you're doing marketing or that you're helping enrich their lead data, you know they already invest in that sort of stuff. So it just matters if you make a good enough pitch basically. And second off, they'll all be in one group together. So you can just add all the people in a particular group as friends and just use that as your outreach process so that you always have a big pool of people in which to approach. Another way you can help yourself is just, again, use your Facebook as a business thing. Social networking is fake. It shouldn't be used for social networking. It should be used for business development. If you wanna make money, use your Facebook profile to make money. Again, don't use it to just chat with friends because if you're using it that way, then you're letting Facebook sell you. You're the product, you're being sold rather than using their platform to reach people and actually make money from it. And what you could do along those lines is instead of posting about what you ate for lunch, lunch or maybe how you're feeling, you're feeling happy or sad or whatever, is you use your Facebook to post content around the business or the service you're offering. And again, this takes a little mental shift because you may say, oh, my Facebook is like, you know, my baby and I don't, I keep my profile private and I don't want people to see what's going on in your life. Screw it. You don't need people to see what's going on in your life. You can connect with them in person and you can use Facebook to make more money. One thing I had to shift in my life was I made a a lot of my identity around business. A lot of the people that I interact with and I make friends with nowadays is around business, okay? As opposed to just having the same old drinking buddies. Again, money is a choice. 
And if you choose to prioritize, you know, you're like, oh, I want to spend time with my friends or I want to spend time with my family or you want to spend time doing your hobbies. That's great. But usually that means that that's where your priorities are. Your priorities are not making money. If you're watching this video, if you're on my channel, I'd assume your priority or you want your priority or you need your priority to be about making more money. And I'm just going to tell you flat out, you got to create your whole identity around making money, around being an entrepreneur. When you go to sleep at night, it's got to be what you think about. If you go to sleep thinking about social interactions or he said, she said, or so-and-so made fun of you or so-and-so said something to you, you're not in a business mindset. You're in a social mindset. And a social mindset is great. If you want to just be kind of a socialite, social person, go to job, make friends, great. But if you want to make money, got to really create your identity around this. One step you can take to really get this to become one of your identities is join my Discord group. We have a group, we have a forum where you can chat with other people about making money and it's completely free. You can talk about Amazon, you can talk about affiliate marketing, you can talk about Shopify, Dropship, and Facebook ads, apps to make money from. We have a lot of different categories to help support you and to help you meet other people and just ask questions so that instead of just hearing it from me and many of you I know doubt what I say, you can actually chat with other people until it really gets ingrained in your head that, you know, what the correct direction is for you. So thanks for tuning in. Make sure to join the Discord in the link below. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel, leave a like for the YouTube algorithm and leave a comment. Have a good day. Bye. Uh, literally anybody who wants to start an online business, it's a bit of a no-brainer. John is absolutely amazing. Uh, after going through the program, I made my first commissions uh, basically yesterday. I'm freaking excited today. Uh, <laughs> if you guys can tell, I got my first sale. Oh, he's like, I got two of them.